Hi students, in this module from the chapter heights and distances, let's do a sum based on application of trigonometry. It's going to be very interesting. Let's see the sum first. It says two vertical poles are on either side of a road. A 30 meter long ladder is placed between the two poles. When the ladder rests against one pole, it makes angle 32 degree 24 minutes with the pole and when it is turned to rest against another pole, it makes 32 degree 24 minutes with the road. Calculate the width of the road. Now this is what the sum says. Right? Let's understand what are we supposed to draw. It says two vertical poles are on either side of a road. So we have two poles there on either side of a road. A 30 meter long ladder is placed between the two poles. So you have a 30 meter long ladder. The length of the ladder is given to us as 30 meter. Now this is placed in such a way that when the ladder rests against one pole, it makes an angle of 32 degree and 24 minutes with the pole, right? So when it is placed on one pole, the angle made by the ladder with the pole, the angle there is nothing but it is 32 degree and 24 minutes. And when it is turned to rest against the another pole, now it is rest on the other pole here, here. It makes 32 degree and 24 minutes with the road, right? Very important thing to be noted there. When it is rested like this, the angle made by the ladder with the road is nothing but 32 degree and 24 minutes. Very important thing, right? First with the pole, then with the road, right? The sum says fine, calculate the width of the road. So we need to find the width of the road. When we say the width of the road, we are saying find the length of BD. That is what we need to find. So this is what we have in the sum. Let's think of how I'm going to get this. It's going to be very easy, very simple. Let's see the sum, right? So here we are going to describe it first. We'll say that AB and DE represent the two poles. So that is what we have there, right? Then we have AC and CE. They are, it represents the two position of the ladder, right? First AC is the first position, C is the next position. So we write there, they represent the two positions of the ladder, right? And we have AC, AC is equal to 30 meter. This is known to us. And we have those two angles there. Angle BAC is 32 degree and 24 minutes. And angle ECD is 32 degree and 24 minutes. That is what we have. And we need to find BD. Now observe BD. If you look at BD, BD, it's the width of the road, right? BD is nothing but it is made up of two things, BC and CD. So we need to first find the value of BC, then the value of CD. Let's find out BC. Now you know that BC belongs to that right angle triangle ABC. So consider the right angle triangle ABC. In that, do we have an acute angle? Yes. Now let's look at that. Now for that acute angle, BC is something which we need to find that happens to be the opposite side. And what is given to us that is AC is the hypotenuse. So we are talking about opposite side and hypotenuse, right? Opposite side and hypotenuse. So which ratio comes to your mind? Which trigonometric ratio? Yes, it is nothing but sine. So you're going to use sine for that angle. So we are going to use sine of angle BAC is equal to BC upon AC. Now you know sine of angle BAC means it is sine of 32 degree and 24 minutes. That is equal to BC. We don't know. Keep it as it is. AC we know that is 30. So we get BC upon 30. Right? Beautiful. So now we are going to get that value of sine 32 degree and 24 minutes from the trigonometric table for natural sines. Now from that table, if you see in that row, which contains 32 and in the column, which is added by 24 minutes, see that the intersection of this two is going to give you the value of sine 32 degree and 24 minutes, which is nothing but 0 0.5358. So we get that value, substitute that value there. So we got the value of sine 32 degree and 24 minutes that is 0 0.5358. Now substitute that. Now the value of BC we don't know. Keep it as it is. And we know that it is BC upon 30. So now BC is equal to 0 0.5358 into 30. So now we just multiply it and the product which we get is the value of BC that is nothing but 16.074 meter. You got the value of BC. Now we need to find the value of CD. Observe CD, CD belongs to that right angle triangle CDE, right? We are going to consider that right angle triangle CDE. In that right angle triangle CDE, we have an acute angle that is 32 degree and 24 minutes. 
Now for that acute angle, if you observe, we need to find the edges inside and what is known to us is the hypotenuse. So we are talking about edges inside and hypotenuse. When you talk about edges inside and hypotenuse, which trigonometric ratio comes to your mind? Yes, it is nothing but the trigonometric ratio is cos. So we're going to use cos for that particular angle. So we write cos of angle ECD is equal to edges inside that is CD upon the hypotenuse that is CE. Now we just need to substitute the value. So we write cos of 32 degree and 24 minutes is equal to CD upon CE which is nothing but 30. So now we need to know the value of cos 32 degree and 24 minutes. This is something which we can get from the table of natural cosines. So now look there in that row consisting of 32 and that column headed by 24 minutes observe the intersection of that two the row and that column gives you the value of 32 degree and 24 minute which is 0 0.8443 so you substitute that value there 0 0.8443 is equal to cd upon 30. now it's so simple so now we get cd is equal to 0 0.8443 into 30 and now we get cd is equal to 25.329 meters so you got the value of cd too wasn't that easy now, isn't it easy to get the value of BD? Yes, it's so simple. So now we can say that BD is equal to BC plus CD. The value of BC, if you see, it's simple. It is 16.074 plus the value of CD. We know it is 25.329. Add those two, we get the value of BD as 41.403. And if you round it off, now we can say that BD is equal to 41.4 meter. That means now we are saying that the width of the road is 41.4 meter. Wasn't that easy? A very important sum, but a very simple one.